We are going for a ride. Going for some exercise. How are you feeling? It's a question on here. I'm going to try to answer for old mate Jordan. Hey Todd, this is from Jordan. Hey Jordan, the colonial architecture looks great. I hope you guys get the price you're after for that. That's down in Savannah Kit. Don't worry about that. Uh, there's a lot of walled dwellings there. There's a lot of walled dwellings all over. Well, in the cities of Laos, especially the ancient Savannah Kit. Uh, not so much in the villages. Is it an aesthetics thing? Break and Ennis thing? The only reason I ask is that I live in South Brisbane and as new people buy and move into the area, they put up walls, not fences. We call them F off fences. Because when you go for a walk, you can't say hello to your neighbours anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers for another squeeze around Laos. Well, we're about to go for another squeeze and we'll check out some of these F off walls. At uh, F off fences. That is a good name for them, isn't it? And uh, we'll try to answer that, give you my thoughts on that while we are out and about. And this will be the first real good test of my new um, new mount on mount. Oh, Todd Pro mount. You can see what uh, what he means by the big F off fences. We've got them along here also. But I'll get it more into that later. We'll just get it off this road and into our journey. Th this is the, the grandmother of all F off fences. I call that the Great Wall of Om Sip, that one. No bastards climbing over that. Om Sip is this road. Tom is like a soy, a lane. Sip is the number 10. Lane 10. The great wall of lane 10. Hey champ, how you doing? <laughs> they just look at me. I am liking this mount. I just hope it's not moving around too much for you guys. There is a little bit of spring in it. But I hope the um, in the GoPro's inbuilt electronic stabilizing mechanism is fixing that up for you. We're just gonna go straight across the road here. Nini's not real confident on the main roads yet. Oh. Put my bum. What? Hurt my bum. Hurt your bum. Okay, you want me to hurt your bum, do you? <laughs> you have to help me to buy this. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I, somebody suggested a, a gel cut, a uh, gel bicycle seat cover to protect yeah. your dainty little buttocks. Go this way, right? Yeah, we will go this way. So I'll whack it up on the map, our route, at some stage during this video. There's another good F off wall, F off fence. It's amazing. Left, there, there I say. And it's not necessarily the crime rate in Laos isn't high, um, especially violent crime. Yeah, it's very low violent crime. The most sort of crime you would find would be petty crime, such as uh, just stealing things, 
shit like that. Bag snatching, I guess. Oh, it's been closed. It's been closed. Wasn't this the road we took or was it further before? That way, I think. This way or different way? Different way. Different way. Yeah. Okay, it was nice coming down here. I enjoyed it. Checked out some. Get away. They must be Savannah cat dogs on vacation or something. It was you. He certainly piss bolted once I dismounted. I got off the bike and he shit himself. Yeah. I don't know which way was it. It was over there. It was this way. Well, how come you was asking me? I don't know. Where? In this way. I thought it was all concrete road. No, I think so, but not. It was on concrete road when we went there. Bit of a shop there. I don't remember coming down this section. I think it was that other road they've just fenced it off. But you know, you, you do tend to find you've got real old places with chicken runs and things like that and then you right next door to them you got big mansion type homes and that there's another bloody dog down here now you wouldn't call that an f off fence it's a fence what he means by f off fence is the walls the big walls that go up at least you can see through that Put my GoPro in the holster so I can give this dog a, dog a thumping if he comes near me. Oh no, he's gone. What is this place here? What's that there, Nanny? Uh -huh. Hey? Don't know. Badminton. Badminton. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Oh, not your name, oh, no. Didn't even know. Oh, Just out here in the sticks. Well, it's not really the sticks. These guys are closest to closer to the city than what we are. We just come and made our way back down there was to those wild dogs, the Savannah cat dogs. Make our way back up to here and uh, fang a right, Leo Qua. But as, as you can see, it's not necessarily big, rich homes that have these big walls. It's. And as I was saying, it's not necessarily. Yeah, that's like a prison, isn't it? I wouldn't say it is for because of the crime rate or anything over here. I'd be more concerned about being ripped off back in Australia than what I would be here. Where uh, you would not call the fences we have around our place um, back on Homsip back there where the restaurant and that is. 
you would not call them walls they're actually just fences people can easily get through don't you guys live over near my place i think that dog does yeah yeah you could easily get into ours and we've never had any problems you know the the restaurant hasn't got a wall around it at all and no fence in some places so and we've never had any trouble along there it's more of a trend sort of thing i think a privacy sort of thing some of them are you can just see straight through if they don't mind um maybe a, a, i wouldn't really call some of the fences aesthetic hello sabadee You know, walls like this one right in front of us, the grey building, um, it doesn't add much to the house, it just hides what you could have there as beautiful decorative gardens and a nice driveway in that. But, uh, probably more of a status thing, I'd be, um, my stab in the dark is, um, welcoming any other input from this any anybody else have their say on their take on the big walls that they have here yeah i don't know why he told you there was no road look at this this is better than road 23 Uh, I'll give you guys a bit of an idea where we are. This creek does stink. Up at the end of this, um, you see the bridge over the water up there. That's our temple that I had the drone up a few videos back. Just to give you a bit of an idea of where we are. And as Jordan did point out, not so much in the villages, you see those big walls. As you can see along here, that's main, yeah, more of an, an inner, inner suburb sort of thing, isn't it? And why there is no one definite answer, I don't think. They remind me very much of walls that go up around embassies in countries. And I'm just thinking, did people in Laos, once money did start coming back into the country, uh, model their homes and fences on these big walls that they've seen around you know, the different embassies here thinking this is how it's done in western countries Where's, hello <laughs> that's just a thought just a thought you know thinking you know the bigger the fence the more money you got i don't know usually the, the way um, a lot of Westerners think also isn't it you know the, the, the more toys you the um, person with the most toys wins is it the status thing ah I know where this road goes now I've seen it this will take us out to our temple you often notice things like this just people living in little huts with stacks of bricks out the front they'll go to the brickyard buy bricks and whack their little bit of commission on it their percentage and sell them just so people don't have to go far to go and buy some bricks they'll just duck around the corner and pick up some bricks there all over the place this guy's just selling straight off the back of a truck here let's go and load it up each day yeah, I've seen his truck parked there many times.
We'll go straight across into that lane, honey. Nene? Right down there. Just wait. Okay. We'll follow this. I've always wanted to see what's down here. It's a lady with a coconut. That's what's down here. It's a baby. Baby. Big F off tin fences. And an inner suburb canal right here. Where by the smell of it, people dump all manner of things in there. Got no idea where this goes, so. Years uh, on an exploration trip just as much as we are guys. Just got a crate of beer lair on the back there between the legs. Somebody pointed out in my um, film business in Savannah Cat video, the dogs barking at me when I was out in the burbs. They like the goats. I like the goats too, they don't bloody bark at me. Just mind their own business. They watch it over in front of their nose, hey? Yeah, if you turn right here, it will take you down to um, near Nong Batong village. It takes you out where our Nabarn's office is, Nene. Yeah. yeah. Or turn left, takes us up to Nong Bing water and bridge. Sunday off, so it's not as busy as it usually is. A lot of people with their families sitting around drinking, having a good time. Ordering up some food panda, save them cooking up a feast. But, um, Back to the subject of F off fences, the big walls. It is more predominant also with the newer houses, just like you stated in south of Brizzy, mate. I think that's what you said. The newer homes, they're building big fences. Uh, I don't know what the crime rate's like there, but what would you say it is in Brizzy? You think it's more of a status symbol, or is it because of uh, aesthetics and or crime rate? I've never really understood the big walls here. You know, I've never felt in danger for my life here. Or yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, you know, the petty crimes and things like that, things do get stolen. There are a lot of poor people here. But I can probably assure you that it does not happen as often here as what it does in um, Western society. Well, in Australia anyway. You know, most of the homes in Oz, they've just got little picket fences and things like that. The people just hop over and help themselves to anything. Maybe it's just a deterrent.
Uh, we just passed the Nabarn back there. It's a little place on the left in green. If we were to turn left here, it would take us up to Nombatong Market. I've shown you that before. I'll just give you a glimpse of what I'm talking about. We'll be able to show you in much better detail some of these bigger fences just in and around here. I've got a good um, bit of a bicycle tour video that I'm going to do of some fairly prominent landmarks just in and around here. Uh, just in our little Nongbatong area. Uh, such as the Forest Temple. I went in there the other day and it's absolutely magical in there. I've, giving you a quick glimpse before but not to the extent that I will in an upcoming video you know um, the upgrades that they've done to St. Fila have a look in around there and just what some of the back streets are like there living in the shadow of St. Fila and Forest Temple So that's what's coming up, you guys no doubt remember this place. This is where we met some of the villagers of uh, our neighbourhood in Nong Batong, helping them out with uh, the care packages and that. Good lady. Colonel just here vlogging Austin KFC and chips. How does that chicken look okay? One thing I haven't tested how close is that to my scone there? You just don't want to look at my scone anyway. Nice bit of driving by Nino. I'm going to grab a Pamela. The Vade. That eh? Some sip. 30. Yes. That's what Nino said. Valida. Okay, let's see if Nini's made it through this intersection. Where'd she go? She's not real confident on the old tre Treadley. Oh, she's way down there, is she? She is too. Here's my bike shop here. Well, not my bike shop. Motorcycle repair, tyre fixer man. The lady. Just slowing down a tad to give you guys a bit of a look, looky look. Oh, yeah. Catch up to Nino. That's it. That's a little bit of a just chill exercise. I was going to get out and have a good, good pedal, a good five to ten k. Once Nene seen that I was going for a ride, she wanted to come and kind of puts the brakes on everything. Don't get me wrong, I love going out, spending time with her. It's not really good exercise that. But, as I've always said, something is better than nothing. go to the gym and have a shit workout that shit workout's better than no workout you know what I mean it is it's better than doing nothing and hello <laughs> holiday house up there in the tree check that out Also, let us know your thoughts on these big 
f off fences now what do you reckon they're for obviously they keep people out but it, to me it is really a big, a big waste of money some of those big concrete fences are expensive and some of them done right like that cream place there behind us that's a really nice fence others are just like prison walls you know which still cost to put up do you need it is it necessary i do not think it's necessary look at this there's just a garden there we've got a restaurant things in it they could pinch our little bloody kangaroo things there pinch our tables stuff like that they, they could be homeless people living up there in the in the hut no it doesn't happen you just rip a few palings off here and they're into our place does not happen let us know let us know below hello Juan <laughs> thank you my automatic gate opener so hard trying to bicycle ride with a big pomelo and a GoPro in your hand oh. Right, uh, this is the piece of fruit we just got. It's gone trying to get out of the way. <laughs> he didn't know I was coming out with the with the camera. This was the pomelo just picked up while we're on the ride. Some sip, thirty thousand kip, three dollars US around that. See what it looks like. Look at that. I picked that up over at Tullitsau Market a couple of weeks ago. It's a Mong fruit and veg knife. 50,000 kip, five dollars. I picked this up at a Mong village for about twenty dollars. That is the weight of a machete. So, if you look at the difference, I use this each morning to cut up me fruit for me oats. Awesome little knife with a great edge on it. Good metal. Just wanted to show you that. Love my Mong knife. Let's see what this pomelo, pomelo is like. I'll show you where I got this. I'm going to take you over there. There's a couple of shops over there. It's one of my subscribers. He wanted to know where he can get um, Buddha statues. I don't know if he meant the good brass ones or garden limestone, sandstone statues. But I did see a shop over there right near the Mong Nai shop. I will show you one day soon. But today the mission is getting into this pomelo I don't want to cut it and get juice everywhere I was just hoping peel some more of the skin off it hoping I could just split it open like a mandarin I was going to tell you a joke then a typical Dave joke brother joke but um, I won't I won't what's better than eating a mandarin <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that it's just um, big citrus fruit not sweet like an orange or a mandarin but not as tart or sour as a lemon high in vitamin C I can dig that that is pretty good three dollars i'll keep that in a plastic bag on a plate in the fridge that'll last me for days that will last me for days doesn't sit well with nini's stomach she doesn't like it so that's good nice flavor just not sweet all right guys that's it thanks for coming along